What's going on, all you samurai assassins out there? Fat Samurai Guy is here with Little Fat Blood, and welcome to another episode of The Movie Dojo, where we discuss martial arts cinema and action films. And today in the dojo, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to review this little gem that I came across called Ninja Busters. That's right, Ninja Busters. Yes, I saw the cover, I saw the title, I was like, yeah, we're going to have to watch this. <laughs> we don't know anything about it. So what we're going to do uh, today is something a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of a react and review episode for you guys. So we advise you guys to grab something to drink, <laughs> hang out with us. This might be a total failure. It might be. This might be this, this might be the best thing. The, the, the poster, the cover, and the, the title. This might be the greatest thing ever, and the movie might be just horrible. So we're, 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 we're fingers crossed here. We're hoping... Obviously, it's not going to be as good as Miami Connection, which is one of the greatest B movies ever. <laughs> Maybe C movies, martial arts movies ever made of all time. Miami Connection is one of our favorites, so we highly recommend you guys watch that if you love uh, B films. But, come on, with a title like this, with a cover like that, it's got to at least be decent. I hope. So, here we go, let's do this. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> Woo! All right. So, what a what a what a journey! What a journey! Mm. I don't regret buying this. I think the first thirty minutes I was thirty, <laughs> maybe forty minutes. I was kind of like Ugh. there was moments of there were a few legitimate funny moments, but. Majority of the comedy was really bad. Hey, I know you. You know me? I saved your life once. When was that? Hey, I ran over a rat catcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mess with Colonel Sanders from the Bloods. What the hell is that? What's this for? This Give Johnson. it to your Chinese friend there. Have it back by Tuesday and, and easy on the start. Yeah, we don't like starts in our underwear because when we ride our bikes, it's sort of hot in the butt, you know what I mean? You call those bikes? I've seen better bikes ridden by third graders. <laughs> hey, man. Nobody so makes so bikes, right? hey, look, you can call. Uh. Four slapstick comedy, and it was mostly because, you know, these are probably real martial they artists. They are all... Yeah. Okay, so the white dude... Sid Campbell? Yes. Was his name? He, apparently he was... A, he, according yeah. to the DVD, or the Blu-ray yeah. case, he's a grandmaster. Well, you could tell at the end... He was doing... He, yeah, yeah, he actually, Okay, yeah. so, uh, you know, premise, got these two losers yeah. work at a factory. Right. Their boss is a drug dealer, hires ninjas, <laughs> as you do. Uh, I don't think I like that. Oh! What's up? I think you're gonna get it whether you like it or not. Hey, don't get tough with us. You include a smart ass. You know who this guy is? Bruce Lee's original student. What about you? Are you one of Bruce Lee's students? No, I'm not. I was his teacher. I have taken a new karate export before. I never cost me any trouble. It's kung fu, not karate. And I'm a lot of trouble. So why don't you guys forget this and let us get back to work, huh? You guys are true working here as soon as my boys are finished with you. I think you better change your mind because I promised Bruce not to fight. That's but if I have to, I will. That's right. That's the philosophy I taught Bruce. Cut! 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 This is the biggest BS I ever heard. I'm going to go easy on you. Uh, they get beat up because they try to steal some shit from him. Yeah. And uh, they escape, get fired, don't fucking know. They're just, <laughs> they get beat up and then they go perv out at a karate school. Yeah. They join the karate school. Bunch of chicks inside. They join, they join yeah. it for the chicks. See, here's the thing though, is that Eric Lee, yeah, yeah, right. who I've met in real life. This I've, guy. Uh, yeah, I have a photo with him. Great guy, do. nice guy. Of course you do. Um, <laughs> I have a photo with him and Gerald. Oh. He's an actual real martial artist, stuntman. <laughs> Right? So at some point, I'm expecting him to do real shit. To do something. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if he's just useless the whole movie. 
and no hilarity ensues no. in this film. No. Uh, Hi, kid. <laughs> hey there. Hey. Yeah, dojo. This dojo does not exist. I come to see how your movie is going. This is how it works. I say, let them know when else happens. This will teach you not to look at the women, but concentrate on your training. The women are for me. Uh, and they, pain, pain. Yeah. Dead air jokes. How much did you pay for this? <laughs> 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 like yeah. just you're sitting there waiting like, yeah and you just keep going and there's like where's the punchline yeah like the police for like she gave uh sid campbell uh one of the girls gave sid campbell the, the phone number yeah and it was kind of like he goes oh i got her number <laughs> yeah. he calls it and it's the cops yeah and then it was like really no yeah so, punchline to it <laughs> so we, keep, we keep going with all that Dead air. and then they start training and you know they start getting better <laughs> So I'll say I uh, I hated some of this film. I disliked most of it. Yeah. But right. I liked some of it. Yeah. So I didn't hate it. Right. I just didn't love it. Um, I I I respect these were all martial artists mm. that just yeah. wanted to make a movie. Uh -huh. At one point they were showing off different styles and different weapons. That was that was really yeah. respectful mm -hmm. and I, I appreciate it. Um, it kind of seems like maybe the ninja plot wasn't tacked on. Yeah, at first maybe it we wasn't. Were, at first we were kind of thinking, because of the way the movie's structured, you see ninjas in the first minute. Now about those terms. That's not negotiable. Well, I think it's a little high. You find it to be a good value? I hope so. Now may I see you, man? Why not? They're looking at you. Oh. Where well, I don't see anyone. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> well, with an army like this, no one would dare oppose me. They'd have to be idiots. Players are idiot now. And then you go off in a completely different buddy, uh, uh, buddy, but, buddy comedy, cop type movie, a buddy yeah. comedy. Uh, buddy cop style. Buddy comedy, <laughs> and it, it just meanders yeah. about. There's literally no plot for like almost an hour. There's nothing. Yeah. It's just them not being funny. We're just making this up as we go. funny some more <laughs> and then training yeah. and then you're like where's the plot and then you realize oh wait a minute this is the actual main plot the ninjas are the secondary plot right. the ninjas don't show up again until like the right. last 20 minutes of the movie yeah um that scene though yeah we'll, we'll get to the scene in a second yeah. so <laughs> so my experience was pretty much the same with hers i think i liked it a little bit more than you though 
uh, because <laughs> right after we get to the greatest scene ever <laughs> in this movie, the most brilliant scene, it was all, you know what this movie felt like? Hmm. It felt like over time and, and filming, through the, during the course of filming the movie, it seemed like they finally were starting to get what type of movie they were making. Uh, the the fireography got better. Yeah. And we had legitimate funny moments. Yeah. Like set up jokes with a payoff. Ew, these guys. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi. Oh. How are you today? Not too good. We've got headaches. Huh? Ah. We've got headaches. Ah. Oh, no, we got headaches. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, movie. That was funny. Yeah. A little bit. And it seems like by the towards the end, by the third act, they had enough experience filming by that time yeah. that they were, you know, okay, we know what we're doing. Yeah. You get, you, you, it felt that way because the fight choreography was, really wasn't was not good. It was really slow. Yeah. And then by the end, everybody's just going down. Yeah. And then you know, so you, I, I, that's what it felt like for me. Yeah. But the movie got. They yeah. learned, it's like they learned all, by, on the way. Yeah. So yeah. so so the 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 guys they they have this break dancing break. Oh. Hello, eighty. Yes. We're, we're, we we missed you. <laughs> oh no! No. Yeah. No. Yeah, I want Sid to get I down. I saw some hip swiveling from Come on. Don't you dare. Yeah, come on, Sid, get in there. Fuck that. Oh, oh Eric, oh, Eric, no. get in there, Eric. Come oh, on. No, no, no. No. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god, he's hand boning! <laughs> they hand boned! <laughs> and they see their, their boss, Baldy, yeah. who's uh, dealing, dealing the drugs yeah. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And they're like, man, I can't believe he's doing this in public of all places. Uh -huh. So they decide to follow him. Right. And he meets up with these leopard print pajama wearing commandos that want to like <laughs> overthrow the government and and make everything pure socialism yes. or something like that yeah this is what after. meanwhile in that other film what is he wearing there. i'm glad to hear that i have a feeling we're gonna need those articles real soon uh when can you deliver when can you come up with i seriously money? thought he was in pajamas <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> what were you two doing? <laughs> Where is that <laughs> movie? <laughs> How about your place? Are you kidding? You want to showing up at my place? Calm down, you know dude. That, uh, Calm down. And uh, so they follow them into, like, the middle of nowhere. The junkyard. There's a junkyard yeah. there. And uh, fighting starts because the ninjas show up. So they're, everybody's fighting. Ninjas! It just saved the movie. Get him! Get him! <laughs> he got out of the trunk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Best fight choreography ever. <laughs> He's at the 40, the 30, <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> oh, God. And the two heroes uh, escape with their lives, and they're like, oh, shit, we gotta get some help. And instead of going straight to their dojo, uh, Sid. <laughs> Uh, realizes, wait, I've got this old Nam friend, big buff dude. So we yeah. go, we go to this guy's we house. We didn't know Sid was even a Nam at this point. Right. So, so we go to this house, and at this point, I am obviously checking out because all the scenes that start off this way go nowhere. Right. So me, I'm expecting this to also go nowhere. So I immediately check out, but then I 
flip back my attention. I'm like, okay, come on, let's let's muscle through this. Yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> suddenly something brilliant happens. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hey, bro. Remember me, Chick Hendricks from Vietnam? Yeah. Come on. This is my buddy Bernie. And we're in some serious trouble. Why are we introducing a new character? There seems to be the problem. Well, we got involved with some gangsters. They need to find ninjas. Got some trained killers after us. Yeah, these cats don't carry guns. And Chick said you were fast when you're done. Not fast. Fastest. <laughs> what do you say? Can you give us a hand? Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's been a very slow year. I've been itching for something to happen. It'll be dangerous. Dangerous. Punk, have you ever been to Vietnam? Uh, no. Well, then you don't know what dangerous is. I used to lead my squads in the most calm infested areas, and oftentimes I was the only one to come out alive. Sounds like a tough place to live. Nah. You just have to know how to live. Nah. The troops I work with were good men, good technicians, good shots. Some of them copied me. Started carrying sidearms, but they didn't have the edge. You see, just before they would think about it, to draw their gun, they would stand there and blink an eye, draw a breath, or think it over. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. To me, to draw and fire are one and the same. I think a man dead, and baby is cleared leather, you know, we fired, starting to get and holstered. Yeah. All in the time it took for me to think it. It was whole move. Yes! Yes! Best movie ever made! Oh my god! Oh my god! And secretly, were you were you secretly wishing the same thing or no? I or was a surprise. I to was you? at this point. I it you was were checked out. It was a it was a surprise to me because like every, like I said, every other scene before this had gone nowhere, and yes. I was expecting this to go nowhere. I was secretly hoping and praying a ninja would come out of nowhere and kill him. <laughs> and holy shit, a ninja literally jumps out of the closet <laughs> out of nowhere and just goes. <laughs> it's with the sword kills him and, and we lost it. Yes! Yes! Best movie ever made! Oh my god! Oh my god! I fucked up the you know the video he when we were watching. I I, I I freaked out and, and accidentally back, hit the stop send button. It back to the main menu. Yeah, we, yeah. And yeah, I, start the movie all over <laughs> and forward to the scene where we lost our shit. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. That's, that's how crazy it yeah, was. But it was so it was. brilliant. I was like, oh, thank you, movie. Thank you so much. Yeah. And from then on, yeah, it picked the up. movie got a lot yeah, better. Yeah, they, they go back to the dojo. Uh, they get uh, they get some of the team together. Yeah. Which they, it's only, it's they only go to Gerald, Gerald and yeah. two useless women. <laughs> and... Uh, and they they meet up at this nightclub because they figure, hey, we you know public place yeah. and they just won't come after this. Well, you're fucking wrong yeah. on well, that. Well, first, first we had a ninja fight in the junkyard. Then we had the ninjas attack the dojo where they're at. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Get him! Get him! Breakdance fighting. Then they escape from the dojo, go to the nightclub, where yeah. we meet some you some meet a, some new characters. Well, you you get some new the characters. The bouncer then, guy. Then you yeah. meet up. So you get two new characters, and then you meet up with the Hispanic sensei. Right. Uh, that was uh, one of the main. Uh, he was one of the teachers. He's one of the teachers yeah. at the dojo mm -hmm. who was prominent throughout a lot of yeah. the training sequences and whatnot. Yeah, it's his club. It, yeah, it's his club, mm -hmm. and so he's up on the stage, getting down, jamming. Yeah, and so the fight. Gets taken to that right. location, and the bouncers there are busting out guns. Yeah, they, with, they with bring a out a crate, firearms, yeah. or some shit like that. <laughs> they don't have the key; they have to chop through it. Yes, karate <laughs> chop through it. Uh, and everyone has guns, so now we have gunfire fight versus ninjas in a club. Fighting's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Right. After dojo fight. Right. After junkyard fight. Right. 
Which and then we, leads us to... Another location where we come across some random aerobics studio. Because 80s. Yeah, absolutely, because 80s. And you get the leg warmers and the butt cheeks hanging out of the, the leotards and all that shit. And, um, and yeah. the fight goes there. The fight goes there with some... screaming women for like five minutes. <laughs> And then of course laughing, the two, yes, that screaming too. extras in and the background. And then the two useless chicks get kidnapped in the middle yeah, of the fight. But yeah. at one point during this fight, you get one of the best ninja attacks on the side of the stairs. Worst ninja attack ever. <laughs> ever. And the nunchucks are just trying to chain. The chain. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> trying to choke the guy. It's so bad. It's beautiful. And it's so hilarious. It's a thing of beauty, it is. So, oh, ninja so. turf fight yep. in the junkyard. Yep. In the dojo. Mm. In a club. In an aerobics right. place. And so they figure, oh shit, we gotta get the chicks. Yeah. So, well, where, where are they gonna go? Oh, whoa, there's only one place they're gonna go back to the boss's warehouse. Mm -hmm. So now we gotta fight over there, which was really fun. Like you said, the fighting really, really started to pick up here. Yeah. But we had a huge missed opportunity. So, so the young kid who had a Cameron Mitchell biker daddy bear. <laughs> Because uh, they were hanging out way Colonel too Sanders. much. They were hanging out way too much for them to not be uh, a little uh, on the side. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, calls, I wasn't thinking of that, but now I'm thinking of it. Thank you're you. You're welcome. <laughs> so he calls him up and he's like, hey, I need your help. And so not Cameron Mitchell gets his biker friends and I'm thinking, oh my God, we're going to have the dojo people. We're going to have the warehouse workers that have teamed up with the ninjas right. against bikers. And we're all going to have this brawl for all. And yeah. it started off so promising. Yeah. Warehouse workers versus Sons of Anarchy versus ninjas. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, Aww, okay. Boo! <laughs> oh, oh, that was lame. Oh, 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 they stopped because of the cops. That was lame. We needed two or three more minutes yeah. of that. And not even a minute worth of biker fighting. They ran out done. of film. They ran out of budget. They, they ran, ran out of, out of budget. They ran out of time. They had yeah. one day to film at this warehouse mm -hmm. location, and that was it. Yeah. So, or somebody called so the cops, and they're like, "Hey, you don't have a permit to film here." Yeah. I don't know. But so it was disappointing. It was it was a letdown that yeah. part because they were like, "Oh shit, the Sons of Anarchy showed up," but <laughs> I'm still pleased. In terms of B action movies. In terms of B martial action movies, yep. I'm pleased. Yeah. Uh, so, in terms of filming the action, like I said, some of the fight is horrible. Some of the and editing. Then, and the editing's the editor, bad. The editor some was, of it's bad. The yes. editor was stroking out in, in some <laughs> scenes where it was like, "What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Nothing is making is making sense here." Yeah. Um, but yeah. you can fairly, in terms of film and fighting, you can kind of see what's going on. Yeah. It's solid. And we, end on, a, we end on a gag. And we end on a, they get the medals you start for with Star Wars, their good deed. Star Wars metal scene at the end of yes. the New Hope, and then it turns into boy. Oh boy. At least that was the May we honor three of our students because of their bravery and their skill in the rescue of two oh, well. of our female students. Not so much. Because of this, they will receive the special medal of the Falcon. So yeah, so I, I appreciate what they did. Yeah, yeah. I we've seen what they did. We've seen a lot worse though. And we've seen puke. Oh yeah. We've seen some so, more bad martial arts movies that made us want to kill ourselves. It does not negate the fact that a lot of this was painful to watch. Yes, yes. So I will. Read but it. I would take painful 
that turns into fun over, well, at least the first half was interesting, and then pain. So, so knowing that this came from a place of love, yes, I will re, I will adjust, I will adjust my rating. I okay. was going to go with a two, okay, because again, the pain is pain. Yes, and I'm. Where not, was it before? Your, what was it originally? I, I was, mean, leading up to what you're changing it to now. Well, at first, like, it was okay, a two. Okay, here, here was my thought process okay. at first, okay. because the movie was fucking going nowhere. Yeah, right. Sid is a fucking creep, and he's disgusting. And what's the other guy's name? <laughs> Eric. Eric. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the real life actor's name. He Eric. wasn't much better. Yeah. Okay. They were both disgusting, <laughs> creepy pervs, and yeah. they had they had every right to be shot down every chance they went after a chick. Yeah. Okay. They were both disgusting. Yeah. Which they were. The fucking, Which they, they the were fucking shot down. hooligan young biker kid <laughs> refused to spy on the women through a crack in the wall. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but our two heroes <laughs> were like, oh, you don't like looking at naked women, and the kid's like, oh, not like that, motherfuckers. It's like, it's, it's Porky's. He's our hero. It's okay? Porky's. So, uh, so with all of that going on, <laughs> with there no plot inside at yeah. first, I was like, well, this mother, this is a fucking one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I was, uh, as the movie was going on, I was like, okay, I could bump it up to a two. Yes. I could probably, given given the, the way the film, what it was, and where yeah. it ended up, I could probably... Rate it within its genre. Well, that's the problem, though. <clears throat> Even if I read it within its genre, it's still a painful, <laughs> mostly boring, and a lot of pain. Right. Even within its own genre. Right. Yeah, it's so fine. So, I, I could Be probably, honest. We're I always could, honest in I the dojo. I could probably go, because of where it came from, and yeah. I understand what a lot of what they were trying to do, I could go 2.7. Okay. All right. 2.7. That's being a little generous. Out of five stars. But, again. Oh, oh you're going to see generous right now. <laughs> Shit. Miami Connection in within its genre. That's a five. <laughs> yeah. Within its genre, B movie, comedy. Made from a place of love. Made from a place of love. Because they were trying to be serious making genuine yeah, love for They were cinema. trying to be serious making Miami Connection. Miami Connection is a jewel. Yes. Miami Connection is a five. It's a joy to watch. It is too. a five out of five ninja stars. I'm gonna give Ninja Busters. A 3.5. I'm gonna do it. Oh. I'm gonna do it. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> because to me, I've seen so you know, this is just me. To me, I've seen so much worse. Just puke. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was pain, the, the comedy didn't land, and yeah, it was boring, and there wasn't really any plot, but it didn't make me want to commit suicide. For a while okay. There, I was... So I was borderline, okay, it's like a 2.9, like right underneath 3, which is average on our channel. And then the, the freaking third act, yeah. right after that, the Vietnam guy died, and the third act, nonstop action, okay. it bumped it up to okay, 5. Okay, you know what? Okay, 3. I mean 3.5, yeah. Alright, okay. Oh, we're getting a rating change! Okay, Be because of that scene... <laughs> Two point nine. Okay. All right. That, All right. That scene. Oh come on! Just give it a no, three. No, no, that's it's no, average. No, no, oh, no. Boo. The movie is boo. still painful. It's still right. painful. All right. All right. That All scene. Right. That scene yeah. warrants two points. Okay. Two point nine. All right. No, that scene alone right. <laughs> is worth the Blu-ray. <laughs> yes. Not kidding. Oh man. That was brilliant. It was. It was. So, you know, two point nine. Yep. That's awesome. She changed the rating. That's pretty cool. And I'm going, I, I know everyone's looking at me like I'm insane, but I, it just, 3.5, above average, within this genre, for me, so. I will say, though, um, I know I, 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 I say that this film was very painful to watch, uh -huh. and I will stand by that. Yeah. I am glad, however, that it did not get lost, because it was lost yes. for a while. Yes. It was. It was like. Uh, it was like Miami Connection, where it was. It was lost in a vault somewhere. Yeah, we were reading the notes inside, and, and it didn't was, even. We didn't know that. It we got just discovered. It, they found a, a, lost print. Yeah, they found a totally. And yeah. The picture quality was good. Yeah, they were pretty good yeah. for what it was. Mm -hmm. it's 1984, low budget. You know, yeah. this could have looked a hell of a lot worse. Remastered it. Got director's commentary on it. Yeah. There. Um, I will say, it, <clears> it's one of those films where I, I'm glad it was found. Yes. And I'm glad it's out there because yes. I think some people are going to have a lot more fun with this than I did. Oh, yeah. And this kind of movie. If you got to watch it with a crowd. 
Yeah. You gotta so, watch it with a whole bunch of friends. You gotta get the beer. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I'm not. Let me reiterate. This is not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It's just we were having King Kung Fu levels of comedy. Ooh. Okay. Oof. I'm King, just King saying. King Kung Fu was pain. Yeah, that's a throwback yeah, to one of the worst things we've seen. That's that made me want to kill myself. That was awful. <laughs> that is pure unadulterated garbage. But some of the comedy here. Yeah. It was on that level. Yeah. But. But. I, I still, it's a, it's a loving 2.9 because mm -hmm. I hated some of it. <laughs> I really did. Hey, you still had more fun with this than some other movies we've seen. Recently. Oh yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, so if you like, I like this more than Captain Mistakes Remain. Oh my God, <laughs> you like this more than Captain Marvel? <laughs> At least I, I did laughed. too. I did too. I at least I got some enjoyment out of this. I, I did. I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at this as opposed to Captain Mistakes Were Made, which I did not. Oh, anyway. I do not like the twat waffle. <laughs> if you're curious, watch our Captain Marvel review. Well, shameless uh, plugging. Yeah, shameless plugging. All right, that's it for today's episode of the Movie Dojo. If you guys, one of the few people out there who actually seen Ninja Busters, let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And as always, we'd like to thank all you badass ninja busters for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, boom! Greatest ninja attack ever.